to Jeannie Stone Paints. We're at Gallery 307 today and we're going to be doing two things in our visit. We're going to be demystifying American Impressionism uh, and you're going to be meeting, you're going to be introduced to three Arkansas artist works all labeled in the category of American Impressionism. Welcome and follow me. shapes. He's really 
working all that and, and pushing the colors that are reflected. The one great thing about the Impressionists is that they give attention to things in the surroundings. So in pushing the boundaries, they're opening up uh, colors to be reflected on each other. So you're not seeing, and you're not seeing as many hard lines because um, our eyes really do uh, connect things and that's where um, that uh, really shines is in, in, in Impressionism. Over here we have another fabulous Arkansas artist, Bill Garrison. He is, he will tell you, he is a, a, a rock, water, and twig guy because that's what he paints is all Arkansas landscapes and many of them are, are warm and just very welcoming and invite you in. And yet he does successfully employ uh, cool as well. Um, again, not a lot of detail, detail, more so than Trey because Bill doesn't use pout knife. This is all brushwork that he does. But take a look at this little glorious painting right here where you've got and I wanted to talk about that with Trey's work too. Both of them use what is called an underpainting. And with Bill, he uses TRO, which is a transparent um, red oxide. And he paints in that monochromatic color and then paints over it, you know, with the, he embellishes it with color. So, the wonderful part is that you leave much of it exposed. You leave much of it exposed. So you really get these layers upon layers. Look at this rich depth to your painting. And again, even in this small work, not a lot of detail, but you know exactly what you're looking at. And that TRO really does um, join together and that particular color just makes it real earthy so that there's this common element kind of tying it in. And as painters know, you want your darks to join and so he has done that so very masterfully. Okay, now the third painter we're going to look at is a little bit different. Um, so come with me. Okay, the last artist, the ar last Arkansas artist we're going to talk about is Jeannie Stone, me. I also consider myself an American Impressionist. Uh, my subject matter and my style is quite a bit different. Although, I'd like to point out that I also use the TRO method or the underpainting method. Um, and you can see that well in this triptych called Peace in the Valley Interrupted. And so, one thing unique about my painting style is that I do a lot of finger painting. And so this is all finger painting. Uh, but even in the clouds and in the sky, you can see where I use the TRO color and let it show in areas to bring it all together. Um, down here, you see little bits of it in the distance and in the tree trunks, the shadow, and then in this foreground. Even in this um, still life, this big still life, I use the TRO to, you can see it's showing here, that color, and then it's showing through these rust spots in this old plate. Now, a lot of times I use other colors besides TRO, maybe blues and um, in a floral or something. But um, I have two other, one, two other paintings I can show where I use that element. I did want to show too in this, what makes this Impressionist is that uh, is that we've got all different colors meshing together, picking, so your canvas, your objects 
are picking up the reflections from each other. You don't have a lot of hard lines. Um, I have another still life where I use TRO and, and it's showing here. It's mixed with some other things. Well, it's in the background here. Then I put some grayed down tones over it. And I'm using a lot of, uh, I'm using my color wheel to really play colors against each other. Of course, red and green are going to be uh, totally opposite on the color wheel. So it's going to snap. It's going to wake up your eyes and bring a lot of attention to things. Yellow, blue. So I've got a little bit of that even going on. And again, this is mostly a finger painting. Um, and then I have one more to show you for our short video today. Uh, and this is from a picture of a train ride. And this is a family enjoying the view. Used to be when I first started painting, um, I said, oh, I just want to make beautiful pictures. And although I do love to make beautiful pictures, I believe there's so much narrative that we can draw out of even simple still life and landscapes that are relevant to our times and help us in our discourse. And of course, this, um, this painting reflects to me, um, this uh, family, for instance, we were going through an area that didn't have an internet connection, so nobody is getting to be on their phones or anything. And yet, look how they're connecting so seamlessly with nature and with each other and being comfortable with each other. Um, so that, to me, that's a, a very wonderful outcome. If you'll notice, he, notice here that the TRO is peeking out, is peeking in the, uh, sk the skin tones, is primarily TRO and the backdrop. Uh, you'll see it in the landscape too. We've got um, colors that are meshing with each other here. Um, we know what things are even without seeing every detail. We know that this is a plaid shirt uh, even though there are really not that many lines to indicate that. Uh, we we um, So we're we, I hope that, that this, these elements draw you in. Here we've got also two, two different sides to something, and here we are kind of in the middle. This is our, where our eye goes, and although we're bouncing back and forth, we're still also being drawn to the outside landscape. So this was Jeannie Stone Paints, and I hope you enjoyed meeting your first three Arkansas artists who paint in the American Impressionist style. Um, join us for future videos. Thank you.